Let's try this. I'm trying a new utility for recording video. We're, we're going to give it a try. Here's what we want to talk about today. We're going to talk about dimensioning practices. Now, our focus here is going to be on hand drawing. But what we're going to talk about will also apply to the same principles will apply to CAD files. We're using SolidWorks in our class, but in general, those softwares should do the same thing for us. But let's talk a little bit about if we do these by hand, uh, as one would if, you know, if we had old-fashioned drafting boards and we didn't have modern computers or even something old-fashioned software like AutoCAD. Um, we, the principles are the same, right? The principles are the same. So let's talk about what are the principles here. Well, there are two types of dimensions, or two main categories of dimensions that we might consider. Uh, the first one is what we call a size dimension. So a size dimension is going to define or describe the overall shape and size of a, we're going to say, a part or feature. And so part's kind of a generic term. Part could represent an object. Part could represent a file in CAD. Part could represent, um, you know, maybe we could also be talking about an assembly or subassembly. And of course, feature would be something within that particular part. So I'm using these as generic terms here. I'm going to move the camera down and wobble a little bit. I have a lot of room on my desk to work here. So that's a size dimension. Let's talk about, and that's pretty straightforward. Let's, let's talk about a uh, location dimension. And it's not real complicated. You can probably guess what a location dimension does. It's going to define the location of a part or a feature within the part. Right, and so we've talked about in SolidWorks, because we're learning SolidWorks, and we've talked about in SolidWorks that there are two ways you can define a sketch. One is through smart dimensions, and the other is through the geometry. Right? And, and so when you're putting a smart dimension within a SolidWorks uh, part or object or file, you're really defining either the size or the location of a feature within the part or the part itself. So that's uh, kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about here. And that's, uh, these are, in SolidWorks, this is where we would drop a smart dimension to define these things. Now, in, um, if we're using geometry or relations, and, and the principles are a little different, that's, a, that's an advantage in SolidWorks is we don't have to define everything simply by dimensions. But to describe then, to, to push these, uh, a drawing file or other documentation out to somebody to manufacture our parts, we would need to be able to define uh, the size, you know, the, the, the overall dimensions of whatever it is we're wanting to communicate. And so dimensioning techniques allow us to do that. And, and again, there's two types of dimensions. There, we see them here, size and location. I'm going to break this video up because I don't have a lot of bandwidth here and I want to be able to upload these easily. So I'm going to break these up into a few parts here. And if I can figure out how to stop recording. There we 
There we go.